Hello everyone, I'm Christine McKenzie, President of IFLA, and I'm talking to you today from Melbourne, Australia. I'm on the lands of the Wurundjeri people and I pay my respects to Elders past and present. I've chosen to tell you about a book that changed my life and why it did that will be revealed at the end. The book is A Walk in the Woods by Bill Bryson. It tells the story of how he and his friend Stephen Katz walked the Appalachian Trail, the longest hiking only trail in the world at 2,200 miles and it goes from Georgia to Maine on the east coast of the United States. It is laugh out loud funny and also very informative for those of you who are familiar with Bill Bryson's writing. He is a master of including all sorts of interesting facts into his humorous and wry take on the world. He provides a history of the trail, which was first envisaged in 1921, built by private citizens and completed in 1937. Bears, snakes and wild boars pose the greatest threat to human safety. The weather can be treacherous with extreme heat and cold, and there has also been the occasional murder. The funniest parts of the book are about cats, his unlikely hiking companion, and my favourite bit is when they meet up with a young woman. Bill Bryson describes her. Her name was Mary Ellen. She was from Florida and she was, as cats forever after termed her in a special tone of awe, a piece of work. She talked non-stop except when she was clearing out her eustachian tubes, which she did frequently by pinching her nose and blowing out with a series of violent and alarming snorts of a sort that would make a dog leave the sofa and get under a table in the next room. And the reason that it changed my life? Well, I decided that the person who introduced me to this book must have the same sense of humour as me. And yes, dear reader, I married him.